Radio, 514, all I mix, Chris the Love, Chris the Love. One, you're on five, one four online mix, and we have a very special guest in the virtual building. Definitely, definitely no stranger to Boom Bap, and also an enlightened, an enlightened hip hop artist. This is five one four online mix radio, and we got Robbie G with us. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Thank you for having me. And I mentioned Enlightened for a reason. There's so many things you are doing other than uh, making music. You are making a journey. And it's really, really uh, interesting to see what else you're doing on this journey. And we're going to get into that a little bit later. But first, let's start off with the tour. You're doing a yes. tour in Canada and it also looks like you're excited for this tour as well. Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm the biggest thing I'm excited for is just to be able to get back into yeah. uh, uh, hanging out with fans again and being able to be one on one and and face to face um, with with the people that that support me and 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 meeting new people and you know just that vibe of being around other human beings. It's like it's 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 unlike anything else. Um, we my company put on a show last night here in Kelowna. We had the real Mackenzie's. It's like a punk, uh, Celtic punk rock band and they're super dope, but just hearing the vibe and hearing people in, in the same building and just like the drums going, the, the, the vocalist, the guitarist, the, the bagpiper was in there too, killing it. Um, and just like that vibe again. So I really miss live shows. Um, and I've, you know, had the pleasure of getting a chance to do some shows during the pandemic, um, got out on the road to do a couple of tours, but uh, it's not the same as, you know, it was weird. Everyone sitting at, sitting in their seats and there was the plexiglass in front of uh, you as a performer and stuff in most places. So um, yeah, it's going to be nice to get, get, get back to seeing people one-on-one, -on -one, being able to reach out and touch yeah. people and, and feel that vibe again. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Canadian tour coming up in, uh, in about a month or so here and yeah, just pumped. Light of the end of the tunnel, right? A light of the end of the tunnel, right? That's right. That's yes. what I feel like. It is, right? Yes. And you're going to be coming to the Blue Dog uh, May 8th uh, yeah. in Montreal, of course. That's really, Montreal, really exciting. Yeah, yeah I'm pumped. Wow. I'm looking forward to it. So, so what made you do this tour right away? You just want to get into it and make sure that you're just there with the fans, huh? Yeah. I mean, I've, I've been trying to... Uh, to book throughout the entire pandemic to do another full run and i've just been limited we were able to do some dates in ontario um last year but not too much across the country the east coast i haven't been out there in in over two years now and, and i usually go and do the full run from one side to the other and get a chance to see everyone so okay. um yeah i mean i've, I've really haven't had a chance to tour in, you know, Alberta and, and uh, Saskatchewan and BC and Manitoba and, and, and also the, the Far East in a while. So I'm really excited to, you know, get back out there again. But you know what, you definitely weren't um, uh, hidden away as, as we all were too much because you were doing a lot of virtual live performances doing a lot of uh yeah. online live content making sure you're still reaching out to those people making sure you're still reaching out to the people around the world and your it seems like your goal your theme was constantly bringing positivity and light to 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 the people that support you uh, yeah 100 percent. and it was a pretty dark year for yeah. a lot of people a lot of musicians as well um even just talking with the lead singer of the band last night he was like you know it, it uh the the for two years he he was really depressed you know yeah. and just he's like I, I i couldn't find my identity he's like i've lost my identity because who we are as performers a big part of us is comes from like being a performer and sharing that that energy and that vibe with people in in, in right one on one in in the face so you know we lose a part of ourselves during covid and i know a lot of people um you know even just 
being human beings, interacting with friends, yes. hanging out with people, being with your family, all that stuff. You, you feel like you lose a part of yourself, who we are. We're like compassionate human beings. We want to, we want to engage with other people. We want to share our stories. We want to talk to other people. We want to help other people. It's just like innately a part of who we are in the human experience. And, and that was kind of taken away from a lot of us in the last couple of years, other than than people who were like forced or not forced, I shouldn't say, but like were essential workers, essential, I use that word loosely in the mm -hmm. sense that like they were the ones that still remained, had jobs like nurses and doctors and 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 all the service workers, everybody that kept the country going because um, it wasn't everybody that was just sitting down for, for a while and not able to do things. But, um, you know, for a lot of people, it was a dark, dark time. And, um, you know, as much as I can, um try try and use those those online shows and all of my content and posts and everything to try and bring some light to people's day and try and um you know just let let them know too that like i'm going through it there were some times i was having some struggles and 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 i'm still struggling you know um just day to day trying to get by and 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 make it through this this crazy you know roller coaster of the last couple of years and it still doesn't seem like it's going to end we get out of a pandemic and it looks like the world's going to go to war now yeah. um you know everything that's happening um overseas right now and 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 what you know the fear that it's causing for everybody so i i still just i'm going to try as much as i can um with the online shows and i'll still try and pop in and do lives uh while i'm on on the road and on tour and maybe stream some of the live performances at the shows um just to you know help out for those people that are really going through a hard time and a, and a lot of them a lot of people did reach out to me and tell me how much it really meant to them, you know, and how much it helped them get through the darkness of the pandemic to be able to have something to look forward to every week and to connect and, and have a good time and create a, a, a community and a tribe of people who, you know, are looking out for one another. Yes, we were definitely lucky to have the artists continue to, to create. Uh, I felt like we are more appreciative appreciative of the artists that we have around our country especially in our own country and within our communities and yeah. artists that actually have a message you know what i mean a message with what they're trying to to get across and we i know now we're not going to take our the artists uh, for granted as much as we did before. I'm not saying we did. Some people obviously didn't. There's always diehard fans, diehard supporters, I like to say. But um, I know now we are making sure that the artists know that uh, we, we care. You know what I mean? We care. We, we love them and we thank them for, for putting on for the community because we had DJs that were playing music. We had artists that were giving live performances. There were live events. I feel like music is so important to um, our lives. Even if you're not an artist, you, you had a show to, to go to virtually. You had a group chat to, 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 to speak in. I thought it was really, really amazing that the artist has kept it going and shout out to you too, because you definitely kept it consistent and you kept it going. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to, to do it. And it really did uh, make a big difference for my career and, and helped me throughout this, this pandemic for sure. Um, I, and and just to connect with people and, and staying yeah. on point with my material that was the biggest thing too and I'm going to notice this coming back to it and I saw it a little bit like last year but like artists are getting rusty you know yeah. what I mean people who haven't, haven't haven't gone out and hit yes. the road and they're not they're not practicing their tracks at home they're just watching Netflix and chilling or like you know doing their jobs or doing whatever things that are occupying their time and they're not you know practicing their songs and really um you know, getting in that zone and that that space, and now going back to it, it's a uh, it's going to be interesting to see. You know, because some of these mm -hmm. the, the artists are going to be like it's like trying to get back at it again, and it's it's hard to kind of get the momentum going. 
Um, yeah. That's with anything, right? That's life. That's it. M- momentum is so key and important. If you're rolling in a certain direction and all of a sudden you stop moving in that direction and you stay stagnant, stagnant, your motion starts slowing down and it takes a lot longer to pick that motion back up again and keep rolling. That's with anything, with business, with life, with things that you're trying to do, um, anything that you want to get, like momentum really plays a big key in it. So that's why I always preach with, with what I'm doing in business business in general is just consistency is so key and important and just like staying on it, staying dedicated to it. Um, and, you know, just working at it as much as you can. Um, cause yeah, that's great. Great advice. Important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's great advice, especially for the people who are, who are watching or listening. This is some key words that you are, 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 are sharing with us. And you know, it just relates to everything that you you um, portray as an artist or just as a human being in general who who's in the public. You really kind of it it, it looks it looks uh, as so that you tie it with your life like life keys. Yeah. You're you're constantly giving people ways to to help them find their own happiness, like life keys, right? You also have. Um, the rapper's guide to enlightenment. Rapper's guide to enlightened mind. Yeah. Yes, yeah. to enlighten mind. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, you have that selling on your website as well. Yeah, yeah. That was the book we put out. Uh, yeah, a couple of years ago now, and uh, working on another one. And yeah, just trying to reach people in a different way. I'm reading another artist book, uh, Classified, just released a book yes. um, called Off the Beaten Path, and it's really, really solid. So um, yeah, just uh, I love I love getting a chance to tell my story in, in another unique way. And that one was inspired by a lot of books that I read, um, a lot of things that helped put me on the path of where I'm on right now. So um, just wanted to share some of that information with my, with my fans and followers so that they could... Uh, yeah, learn, you know, learn the keys and, and, and some of the tips and tricks that I learned. And, and in no means do I say that I'm enlightened. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, uh, I feel like we're all trying to strive to get to that, that point. Yeah, um, yeah. Like if we do become enlightened, then we're probably not going to be here on this plane of existence. Cause it's not, um, you know, the we're, moment I, you know, you, you know to too much, you're going to you start, especially when you're on that journey of enlightenment, I would say that actually, I should say that instead, that journey of enlightenment, when you reach to that finish line, that means you are no longer here. Sometimes you get too, too close to that finish line, but sometimes during that that period of time that you're too close to the finish line, you see things that you like, and you see some things, you feel things that just is so incredible, incredible. And just the fact that people are able to, to you know, step into a different kind of conscience and, and able to share that with other people in stories, in books, in songs, that's, that's power right there. That's definitely um, inner, inner power. Very, very much so. And, and inner power, I like how you say inner, because that's what I'm trying to do, do too, yeah. is what you're saying. Life, life keys, you know, teaching people about happiness. I, I, I truly believe the happiness comes from inside. It comes from the inner. It's not really about the things that are around you. Things that, that can happen in your life can bring you joy, but the true joy actually comes from inside you. And you want to teach everybody that like, you know, not, not, not so much to reach for the external, but to find it inside themselves. Um, that's a lot of the uh, content that's going to be on my upcoming album, um, has a lot of those kinds of themes in it and just kind of like empowerment in, uh, bringing people back to, uh, you know, themselves and, and recognizing their power. Mm, recognizing their power. That's amazing. You, you constantly remind people, especially through your music, um, and happy as well, that happiness starts with you. And sometimes we, we know that we, we know that. You know what I mean? Sometimes we hear it so much that we know that, but we need to be reminded constantly because we forget. That's yeah. that's why this is a journey. This this life is a never ending learning kind of journey because we forget and we need to be reminded. That's why it's important to sometimes obtain positive um, tracks, positive music, positive content. It's, yeah. it's really important to rejuvenate and, and restart sometimes. It helps me. There's so many artists that I 
rely on when I'm, you know, struggling or just need yeah. some a positive uplift and stuff. Um, a so, lot yeah. of them, the, the Marleys for sure, like Bob Marley, obviously, yeah. Damon Marley, Stephen Marley, like all, all of them really like, uh, they're just, they, they have such good messages in the music and, and can bring you up and make you feel good and positive and, and, uh, and happy um, and, and calm down if you need to. Mm-hmm. You know, I had a feeling you had a little bit of island vibes in California <laughs> skies. I felt yeah. an island vibe to that track. Yes. I really, Ma- really did. It made me sway. And it was making me sway in a Caribbean way. And I was like, mm, that's an island vibe right there. <laughs> okay, okay. I yeah, like it. I like yeah. that. And the the woman that I had on the, the chorus there, yes. Deep Archer, she's she's uh she's got some island vibes to her you know yeah she's got got that going on so um yeah that's that's dope that you you picked up on that because i Mm. wanted to yeah you gotta gotta have uh, there's a few songs that i do with that kind of like you know that that have that kind of bounce and done done a few reggae songs there's one song that i i really enjoy that i did called right now with a girl named elaine shepherd um a little bit She's from Vancouver and uh, yeah, has a real, real island vibe to it. So if you're, you're into that, you should definitely check that yes, one out. Yes, yes. Uh, wow. That's really bit. cool that you dabbled into to a little bit of reggae too, because reggae is meant to be a feel good genre. And, and if you can, can, can dabble into that with, with that feel good vibe and, and master it, you know what I mean? That's amazing. And since we're on that topic of mastering it, it's like I, I don't remember who said it oh I'm not going to quote it right then because I don't remember who exactly said it but to master oneself that's like a greater power than to master other others right so yeah. when you're working on that that journey of of just self enlightenment like healing um even just learning new things about about your body or learning new things about mental health. I think this is definitely something that we need to do. Now, you took it a, a whole step further as well. You definitely did. You tried something different um, with like regards to a frog. <laughs> yeah, the plant, yes. the, the cambo. The Campbell. Let's get into the Campbell right now, because I, I also saw on your post that you had a few of the frog bites going down your neck as well. Yeah, they're not they're not bites. It's uh, it's oh. like uh, they they take the the medicine is like a poisonous secretion from the frog. So it's it's a frog that's in like the Amazonian jungle, and the indigenous people harvest the the medicine um, from it. And basically, this this like poisonous substance, they just put on your on your skin um and like first they have to break the skin barrier so you just take a little hot um piece of wood and just like tap like just wherever the spot is so that it can kind of break that uh skin away and then make it so that the medicine kind of goes right into the bloodstream and once that that frog poison is is placed on your on your skin it's uh Ooh. like pretty much within a minute or two it kind of uh goes right into your your system and you feel the effects of it um it's pretty powerful it was different every time um my wife and i did it three times um three three different sessions and um it was uh it was different every single time um different every time, single time wow yeah first time was really brutal it was like an hour and a half long of just like very uncomfortable um feelings um you know a lot of a lot of you're throwing up and um you know just uh sweating um and and it's like you 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 feel really sick uh, obviously from it it's poison i guess um so and like to the point like i felt like the one time my face felt like it was really puffing up my lips were like puffing up um so yeah, it's not 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 comfortable um, experience, but inside there's a lot of work going on. There's a lot of um, inner, uh, I guess, trauma from mm. your own childhood and past lives or or past um, coming out, 
passed uh, down through generations of trauma and pain that's been like experienced by your your parents or your grandparents or great grandparents that uh, that's never been dealt with and and it just gets passed down through the bloodline and um and and now you've got to do some work on it and and try and release it and let let that energy out so um yeah big big believer in like um just how how our, our bodies are a, are a vessel and um, there's a lot of work to be done on our bodies, minds and soul while we're here in, in, in this plane of existence and um, you know, using those plant medicines as a way to kind of help speed up that healing in a sense. I'm sure you could probably get there through like long meditation hours and like maybe there's monks that, that can, <laughs> yes. can, can deal with that, that inner trauma and pain without having frog poison involved. Um, but uh, it is, it's something that, that I feel like can be a, just speed up the process a little bit. And it just smacks you right in the face and, and says, hey, there's some stuff that needs to be dealt with. And you just purge it, you get rid of it. Um, you know, kind of do a little prayer to let yourself know like that's gone now and now i'm healed and whole and healthy and can move on and move forward and um yeah i think i think it does good so you know maybe it's a bunch of woo woo stuff and, and some people could say it's a uh, you know crazy or not um not really doing anything but personal experience wise i would say it definitely it, it does it, there's something going on there's some sort of healing happening. I feel oh, wow. different. I feel, feel changed. I feel lighter. I feel, um, I feel, I feel better, but at the same time, it's like, it's work. It's, so it's still working. I, I've been going through some, some emotional days the last few days. Cause the last one we did was like a heart chakra one. So it like Whoa. opens up the heart chakra. So it's pretty, pretty Intense. emotional, yeah. um, I can imagine. but, uh, eventually I think I'll get to the point where I'll be a little bit more chill and um, it'll have kind of worked its way through me. But um, yeah, right now it's, it's, it's work. It's not, it's not fun. And it's not something that um, people should jump into lightheartedly. It's something to do with like reverence and with the, with respect to the plant and the medicine and, and, and to the animals and to the the indigenous cultures that discovered this this these forms of of healing and um and know that like it's something to do to heal and help yourself and future generations and other people to get to that same place um and and I, at the same time i don't want to seem like i'm like holier than now or like I've done some like super cool work because I've done this and, and other people haven't because like I think everybody gets to these points along their journey and if and and through whatever means is, is necessary like I say for some people they don't have to do frog poison to get to that that level for me it's something that I chose to do to get there but it's not for for everyone and um and everybody has their own pathways to try and figure things out and and, and learn about themselves and self-discovery and um yeah this is something that I find really helps me and yeah, I, I hope that by helping and sharing the information with other people, it will create some curiosity within themselves to try and experiment and look into other modalities of healing, because I do believe that the current medical system that is in place and has been put on a pedestal as the, the peak of our uh, knowledge and civilization is that we have the ability to heal through these medicines and these pharmaceutical drugs. Um, I feel like a lot of that stuff does a lot more damage uh, than good and that it's, it's time to start seeing what other forms of, of healing is available because sometimes those forms of healing, I feel like really get to the root of problems as opposed to just being a bandaid on the surface of an issue, which is what a lot of pharmaceutical um, medications I feel 
really do is just kind of like mask the problem and don't really truly deal with it. And there's there's hurt and 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 pain that is inside all human beings, and like it doesn't get addressed and doesn't get dealt with and doesn't get talked about um, because we feel like we can just fix it with a pill. Mm-hmm. And sometimes that's just like a blanket over the issue without actually trying to find what's causing the issue. And, you know, how can we work around it? And this is why finding different ways of healing exercise is such a beautiful thing to life because it starts with you. It starts with your life choices sometimes. You know, yes, there's mental health issues. Yes, there's physical uh, health issues as well. But there are different ways of healing and, and feeling better on the outside and, and the inside. But the, what you did was something I've never heard of. Something I've never, ever heard of. And did, did someone um, suggest that to you? Um, it's something that just, I think, got brought up a few different times. My wife is the one who found the facilitator here in uh, Kelowna that we went to go see. Um, but yeah, we're, we're kind of interested in any, any forms of, uh, alternative healing or, um, alternate forms of consciousness that can help to, yeah, just uh, figure out why, why we're here and what, what it's all about and where we're going. And cause I really don't think that it's, ju we're just here to like, eat sleep and you and know die. Yeah. and die and and play and and like you know have a job and make money and pay bills and I feel like there's more that's going on here um in regards to like how we relate to people how we engage with people how we conversate with people how we uh interact and 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 what our what our purpose is here and what our legacy is going to be left on earth and what are the things that we're going to do that's going to leave an impact in people's lives um that's going to last far longer than than even our lifetime Ooh. so yeah now that is powerful that's powerful that's beautiful too now i have i'm just curious was was there single sometimes um, cause I know like, like obviously when, when it's posted, it looks like it's, it's that date, but it could have been posted at a different time and your song could have been dropped at a different time, but you're, you're, you're single sometimes. Was that before yes. the, the healing or after the healing? I'm just, I'm just curious. Um, it was written before, uh, we, we released it just recently, um, a couple of weeks ago. So, um, you know, it's, it's kind of being released during, but it, that, that's a healing track too, right? That's, mm -hmm. that's talking about you're kind really of like deep in that track the emotional. and happy as well. Well, you're, you're deep in a lot of your tracks, even if you're just talking about boom bap, you know, you're deep in a lot of your tracks. Hey, um, I, I, I grew up listening to Gangstar and yeah. like, that was my, my, my thing that brought, mm -hmm. gave me like the inspiration to do hip hop and listening to to guru and like one of the things that he said i remember in in an interview uh he was just like you know there's always a message no matter what you're listening to whatever you're hearing from me there's always a message in the music yeah. so even if i'm on some fly shit even if i'm on some club shit even if i'm on some like party drinking smoking music or whatever there's always going to be a little something in there that's like going to make you think a little bit or going to have some sort of lesson involved or a message that I'm just saying, like, this is what I think and, and, you know, take it or leave it. It could, it could help you. It could, you know, open your eyes to something or it could just go right over your fucking head too. And that's <laughs> but it hits you subconsciously. And I like that you said that. I like that you said that, um, you know, you're always going to be leaving, leaving a message. And I think that's really, really cool. Cause you're, you're leaving the antidote and that's really, really dope. Even though you can be partying, you could be enjoying your, your life oh, cause you're in the public eye publicly. You're also leaving a little bit of the antidote. Let me talk about something about one of your songs. Uh, I think I was like almost five years ago, plus if I'm not mistaken with, with Mercules, you, you had written, you had actually uh, said this, 
um, it, it, I just kept rewinding it over and over again because it really, really hit me. It, you said dollars, bottles, models. I'm not going to say like you, I can't rap like you, but you say dollars, bottles, models. They say it's all a part of becoming a star. That ish ain't got nothing to do with me. Mm-hmm. Mm, and yeah, that is nothing to do with me. We're featuring uh, uh, Mercules. Mercules, you, yeah, that, that's the homie. Mercules, sh- yes. Mer- he's, he's killing it now. Now he's uh he's doing doing incredible things um yeah but that that line i mean that's just my uh i guess shot at the industry in the sense that yeah. like there's a lot of people that that think that you know what what it takes to be a star what what's going to make it is a bunch of like flashy stuff and bottles and 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 uh all that kind of thing and you know it's nice to have those things it's nice to have uh i like champagne you know, I like popping a bottle every now and then. Yeah. That's cool. But um, there's no real substance at the end of the day with all that kind of stuff. When you're talking about money, when you're talking about the bottles you're popping and and all that stuff, I don't think it's really going to like leave much of an impact to people to be honest so yeah. but at the at the same at the same time i i like talking about you know success and getting things and acquiring things that you want and leveling up in life and you know trying to get it but uh, uh, you know you don't need to have uh you know all that flashy stuff to be a star you 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 just in in my eyes um some people may say that's you know different and that you need to have all that stuff to be a star in today's day and age but um i don't know i look up to artists like uh, atmosphere um you know slug um people that like are grieves people that are just like they're stars in my eyes but they're not like with the flashy kind of thing, they're just very stripped down and kind of just being themselves. Um, I like that, you know, I like, uh, even like Dr. Dre, he yes. wears like the same sweatsuit everywhere. And that black sweater everywhere. <laughs> you know? yeah. But you know, that guy could buy whatever he wants. You know what I mean? He could be wearing anything, but uh, he, he, he doesn't choose to be that uh, that flashy with it so um yeah you don't you don't need all that stuff to uh to be to be it so yeah that shit ain't got nothing to do with me well it seems like hip-hop is definitely a lifestyle uh for you as well and it's something that's keeping you um inspired you got a podcast going as well you got a podcast going on i think it was on, on spotify Spotify, iTunes, I think, wherever you get. Yeah, to, where you can get your. Okay, that's where awesome. You can get your 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 uh, your your um, podcast, but uh, I've got a few episodes sit- that I'm sitting on that I have to have to release because I've been Ooh. sitting on them for a little while. But um, but yeah, I got some some solid ones that uh, that I got to get on there. Oh yeah, I see that you got a, you got a podcast. You, yeah, you're 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 an artist. You got a tour coming in Canada. Working. And you have so, you have a lot of albums, a yes. lot of hard copy albums for, for sale on your website. And it's just, yeah. it's just, you're just killing it. Thank and you, with, with a lot of albums that, you know, that obviously comes with a lot of tracks as well. Yeah. Yeah. Working. Yeah. I've recorded a, a ton of material and <laughs> um just, just happy that, I'm stick trying to stay on the like you know at least one project a year tip um, as long as it stays comfortable for me and then still dropping like mixtape songs in between and and doing some G mixes and remixes and stuff like that so uh, yeah just staying staying with it I mean I personally I wish I could make more music I want to I want to be making music all day every day but at the same time the business side of things has to has come to into going. play and, and, yeah. and getting getting things organized and all that kind of stuff but to, i love making music i i just yeah, you're constantly it, it, you have constantly uh you're constantly showing videos and pictures of you in the studio yes yes <laughs> and I gotta, 
And, and, and I got to do more of it too. Cause I'm like, I, sometimes I write a lot in there and then I don't even share it. And I should be like, ah, maybe I should, should give these guys a little sneak, sneak preview of what's, what's happening. I do that a lot on the lives so, though. Um, definitely on the live shows on Thursday, every, every Thursday, 6 PM Pacific time, uh, 9 PM Eastern time is when we kick it off live on my Facebook page. And I try and share some snippets of the songs that I've been working on in the studio each week. Um, yeah, before anybody else gets to hear it, the, the people who are on the live get to hear it first. Well, before we go, I just wanted to name a few albums that you have. And, and first of all, your, your remixes are dope. Before we get into your albums, Thanks. yeah, your remixes are so dope that I, have, I just <laughs> have to say this too before. We, I, I didn't want to forget this, but Flowbox. Yes, the Handlebars remix. Yes. Mm-mm-mm. When one of Feel like one. like uh, well, especially when, uh, when when the legends say, "Oh shit!" Like imagine that. Just imagine how what was going through your mind when when they basically said that you 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 did a good job remixing their track. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's the first time, to be honest. I remix a lot of, and it's one of their music. infamous songs too. Yeah, it's yeah, it's probably like the, one of the most iconic songs for sure. So to have them put their stamp of approval on it is yeah. is super dope. Um, yeah, I mean, and and a lot of what I do is to you know a lot of what all artists do is to to get respect from our peers, um, the artists that we look up to, the the kind of legends that we look up to, and it just it meant so much to have them check that out and shout out to tiktok for that because like yeah. tiktok it makes it possible for artists to get in front of their their heroes and and boom be like check me out and they actually do so um yes that that was dope to to get that feedback and um yeah i'm just i'm always excited when i get to hear from legends that that i'm doing the right thing i i had a big a big day today i got a, a verse back from a legend uh, artist that that I want to have on uh, on my album and um yeah it's just it, it means so much to have and 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 he's shooting a video for it as well um so we're gonna we're gonna be dropping a video for the song and it's a super powerful song it's uh it's all about um standing up for what you believe in and he just destroyed the verse and it was just so dope to you know when you get somebody that like I've looked up to as a legend lyricist in the game. He's worked with, you know, argued like my favorite producers and, and, and people that I've really looked up to. So it's, uh, it's amazing to, uh, to have him on the album. I don't want to say the name yet because it's yeah, a surprise till, till the, uh, till the album drops. But uh, yeah, I'm just super excited to, to have him on the album and, and to have another like person that I really look up to, um, you know, say hey your stuff's dope and uh and and i'm gonna lay something on it so yeah very excited um yeah always always working on some new stuff but yeah it's always yeah, good to get, definitely. get, get some, some uh, uh i guess um acknowledgement or just knowing that you, you're when you when you do songs with people that you really love to it just makes you feel like you're doing the right thing and you're on the right path you know what i mean like mm. um, people are like yo this guy's dope and that's you know they're with it so yeah yeah well. respects to you for that now before we go i have to just name a few of your 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 albums um well, uh, you have like uh really really powerful names like obviously life keys uh, i'm not gonna name all of them because you have a lot but like like i think like uh over over at least over eight or ten eh? yeah yeah Sounds that's like amazing that. no, yeah. We're stay there. grounded life keys Inner out, sorry, inner outer space, boom bap, of course, ripple effect, and these are some of the the hard copies you have on your website. It yeah. all seems like you definitely have a, a message that you're trying to deliver, and I think it's so cool. Uh, all, um, trying to find out what it constantly is. Now you also have amazing remixes as well. Like you did one for even uh, you did good news and that was a remix uh, for for um, one of Mac Miller's songs, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Respects to That's you. One of my favorite. That. Mm. That's one of R. my R. favorite. He's, he's one of my favorite. Yeah, for sure. Rest in peace to 
legend. It's it's terrible that he's that he's gone because he didn't even have a chance to really truly uh, unleash what what he was fully capable of. I think, and he uh, he still left a lot for us. Though I'm I'm happy that they're still releasing music, um, you know, from him that 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 was sitting in vaults and and hadn't been released yet. So yeah, definitely um, look up to him for sure. And that was uh, a song that really hit me the good news song that he did. And I, I think I, I did that, that remix justice. And, yes. and it's one of my favorite remixes that I've done. It's like, it gives me goosebumps. It's, it's just like, really, uh, I like to tell a story and that song just gave me a chance to just tell my story and, and, and just say he it. told yeah. your story. Yeah. Uh, and in and, and, and a time that we need some good news too, there right? You like, go. Yeah. In the time we definitely need good news, and we need the artists, especially artists who love listening to our, other artists' um, journeys. It's really inspiring to know that someone else can 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 make it through. You know what I mean? Their their own personal journey. You even had the Corona uh, virus <laughs> rap uh, yes, with yeah. "Moment of Truth" uh, remix, yeah, right? Thanks, Debbie. Yeah. Find my way remix the baby remix. Did a lot of remixes. Yes, yes. And I got I got more more on the way too. I got more got on the way. New job and so, yeah. Man, well, you know what, Robbie G, it was amazing. It was an amazing uh, experience, actually, to, to have this conversation with you have this interview with you. I'm very, very, very honored that you you spoke to us on our show. You had a lot of gems, you had a lot of knowledge and a lot of positive positive message messages that we all could use especially during this time so thank you so much for for being here yeah. thank you for doing this interview and bringing some some peace and and some you know some light to the interview and some island vibes as well so shout out to you shout out shout out thank you so much it's been been a pleasure to be here and anytime you ever want to do this again feel free to reach out and i'm looking forward to to seeing you uh when i get out there yeah the blue dog i'll definitely be yeah. there may 8th you'll definitely see me there that'll be awesome. uh, amazing and um i can get those tickets on your website right yes you can yes you can and um yeah, RobbieGHipHop.com for everything, the tour, merch, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I heard the Blue Dogs pretty like iconic venue there in Montreal, yeah, like Drake's definitely. been there and stuff. And like, it's kind of like the hangout spot. It's the go-to spot there. So I'm, uh, I'm, that I'm place honored. Has and, history. Yeah, I'm yeah. really looking forward to getting a chance to, uh, to come out there and rock. So, and we had that show booked prior to the pandemic. I had that show at Blue Dog booked for two years now, over two years. So I'm so glad that we're finally getting a chance to do cool. it. That's going to be exciting. That's definitely going to be exciting. Hell yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you well, so much. Once again, you're on 514 Online Mix Radio. I'm your host, Chris Sella, and we just spoke to Robbie G. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for watching.